everybody. Yeah, I thought we'd do. While the weather's got a break in it, it's way too muddy to do much digging or anything. And we got another week of rain coming in. So, anyway, while I got a break in action here, I thought I'd go over some of these rock formations and show you all what I've been trying to get under and dig around. You can, uh, you can see that where do you start and where do you begin? Just so many rocks. Anyway, y'all stick around. I'll show you some of these weird rock formations. So, let's get at it. Because I'm back here. I'm back here where I found Empire Pliers. And I'm checking out this, uh, checking out this perfectly round hole here. And it looks like it's perfectly round, but it ain't perfect, but it's pretty close. I brought a flashlight where you can, we can see it goes in there about, I don't know, two or three inches. And it turns down at 45 degrees to the left. And this, about the size of that old mining light right there. Anyway. One of my, uh, my viewers, subscribers, recommended that I needed to check this out that he'd noticed in the digging under the rocks part two. So, thought I would uh, check it out here since he mentioned it. And uh, he's got a good channel on Indian pines and rock walls and stuff like that. That's... Uh, North Country Relics, and uh, I really respect all the stuff he's done, but I even brought one of these, uh, you can see one of these little grabbers and stuck it down in this hole. It, nope. That's all. It looks perfectly round. Then it turns down at an angle right there. So, I've checked that out. That's just, it is kind of weird. It's just a natural hole there. Guys, here's the dimensions of the hole that I could make out. All this limestone, I would say, at one time was under the ocean. And just eons of time, it's just uh, raised up. That's why there's so many caves and cracks around here. This limestone's real soluble with water over time. So there's that hole. It don't go down far either. Well, anyway, that's, uh, that's checking out this uh, perfectly round hole here. So, anyway, we've checked it out. But there's still a lot of strange things in these rocks. As I move back on in the back of this ridge. And believe me, there's a lot of rocks. So, we're going we're gonna to keep carrying on. Okay, you can see this rock. I'm on the back side of that rock. It looks like it's, like they've been stacked in there. You can see how it's how it's broke up in layers. I'll pan all around this thing. Now this rock it just breaks up in layers. You can see it down here. Cracked up in straight layers. I'm gonna come on around in here. Back here. Looks 
looks like it's been stacked in there by man or something. I don't know. All the weight of this upper rock is sitting down on that rock. And you can kind of see how it's layered back in there. Makes me to believe it looks man-made, but it's natural. Pan on around this thing. How they want to break up in layers. Sometimes vertically, sometimes at an angle. Sometimes horizontal. I want to investigate this out if I know it's worth digging out, but you can see how the rock is back in there. It ain't big enough. You can see my hand. It's not big enough for a human being of no kind to be shoved back in there or anything. I just think it's natural because you can see the rock right here that's still part of this rock right here. So, you can see back in here, it does, it looks like it's stacked, but I, I don't know. I'd have to put some kind of support under if I dug this out. Guys, I've dug this out. Back in there, it ends. It ends right there at the end of that. And I've had my probe back in there. And them rocks, if you can see them, they just, it don't look natural, but it is. I'm back at the end of it. It don't go back in there like a B shape. And right there, a foot from where I'm at is the end of it. And I probed back in there and dug. Now, it's not to say that Indians might have crammed something in there, but there ain't no metal in there. Let's put it that way. So, I've checked it out pretty thoroughly. There's a lot of weight on these rocks. From this big rock so it just crushed up over time and makes it look like it's layered uh, the whole ridge looks like that in places so all right we checked it out you can see these rocks like around over yonder look like they were stacked in there but it's possible they could be natural. Because if you look at these rocks here in another, not far from there, they look like they've been stacked in there. But they haven't been stacked. They've just broke apart in layers and they broke apart that they look like they've been pieced in there. So. You really, you really can't say. Guys, you can see how these rocks is. But when they're broke up, they're not just covering the front. They're all the way back to out of sight to where the rocks connect together. I pulled some of them apart just to look. You can see back in there, they look like they've been stacked. But they haven't. They just broke apart in time and weight and weather and water. They've just cracked. And they look like they're stacked, but they're not. So. Guys, I thought I'd just walk out on some of these rock here just to, just to give you a little scale on the size of them. This is not some of the big ones, though. This is the medium size ones. Well, anyway, I thought I'd show you that. And uh, some of these pictures here, I'll, I'll let you see. I'll show you a couple of pictures here about how some of these rocks are. Some of them are really weird. Some of them are really cool. And it's all kinds of rock formations. So you just... Uh, just 
stay tuned. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I thought I'd show you some of these weird rock formations. Like I said, when the weather breaks and I can get back there, it's it's probably half a mile to a mile from here. It's a long walk. But there's some big rocks back here. And I'll try to check them out on the Digging Under the Rocks Part uh, 3. So I'll be working on that when the weather lets me. But anyway, guys, uh, just want to tell y'all to like and share and subscribe if you're not. I really appreciate it. And and listen, we're talking about subscribing. You know, a lot of people, it don't cost nothing to subscribe. It don't cost a thing. And if you don't want to be aggravated, don't hit the notification bell. But if you want to see all my future posts when you subscribe, hit that little bell. And... So every time I put something out, you'll uh, you'll get a little text or a little notification. But there we go on the rocks. There's so many to see. Well, I thought I'd just uh, do this a little bit, and uh, you get a chance check out my buddy's channel there, North uh, North Country Relics. He does a lot of rock formations, Indian stuff, rock walls, some really old stuff, really cool stuff if you're into that. So, y'all have a good day, and uh, y'all take care. Till next time.